So NMOSD differs from multiple sclerosis in that there is an antibody that is often positive that can be checked for this condition, whereas there's not an antibody that we can check reliably for multiple sclerosis. Um, another thing that makes it distinct is that it often primarily affects the nerves to the eye, the optic nerves, right, which affect our vision, as well as the spinal cord, which can lead to motor problems like difficulty walking, difficulty with numbness and tingling, symptoms that may be very similar to stroke. In some cases, NMOSD can involve the brain, um, but the lesions look a little bit different than the ones that we typically see with MS. Um, and so that's kind of the distinguishing factor is the characteristics of the brain lesions that we see. They're often very large um, and they're often not um, uh, very uh, small in number versus with multiple sclerosis, we see a lot more involvement with the brain um, versus NMOSD.